Pessina, Colpani and acres of space. Colpani, was he caught by Baschinotto? It's a corner, says the referee, but the challenge looked a little wild. And that's the point that Birindelli is making there. Was Colpani onside first and foremost? His touch was heavy, which is what invited the challenge. And Baschinotto seemed to leave the ground with both feet. Did he get enough of the ball? The referee thought so initially. The VAR will be assessing this. It was a forceful challenge of that. There is no doubt Valerio Marini is the video assistant referee. And indeed, the referee has been summoned to the pitch side monitor. And what was looking like a precious point for Lecce is now in serious doubt. Did Baschirotto need to go lunging in there? Valerio Marini has seen this as a possible clear and obvious error from the referee. There's the challenge from Baschirotto, the studs are showing. But it was a reckless challenge, and it's a challenge which results in a penalty. We're into the final 10 minutes, and Baschirotto, who's had a fairy tale season in Serie A, has now given away a penalty to Monza. And Gutkier has taken the ball here. Well, this is rather surprising because Pessina is the club's dedicated or designated penalty taker. Gutkier, in his final home match as a Monza player, has the chance to put Lecce's stay in Serie A into further doubt and send Monza hurtling towards eighth place in the table. They'll be cheering on the Dane in the cities of La Spezia and Verona. How Lecce need Falcone to come up with something big here. Good care to sign off in style, saved by Falcone. And that might be the moment that seals Lecce's stay in Serie A. It's a momentum shifter for the Salentini. And the point is now, once again, back in the bag. Brilliant goalkeeping from Falcone. That's why he's in the Italy setup. Can Lecce go and grab a dramatic winner here? And what's been a very quiet game, goalless draw feels the fairest result, even with that penalty save from Falcone to keep out Gutkier. We've played nearly all of the eight minutes. Hulmund with the corner. Is that handball of Gutkier? Male leads the protest. The Lecce fans behind the goal are desperate for a penalty here. The referee has stopped play. Male is convinced this warrants a second look. And Gutkier heavily involved. He's saying he got a shove. The referee has stopped play for a free kick in midfield. There is Gutkier keeping tabs on Male. Did it catch the forearm first or was it off the knee then into the arm? That's the big question that needs answering. And the Lecce president wants a penalty here, just as his side had a spot kick against them. Lots of work for Valerio Marini to do. Baschinotto, who gave away a penalty earlier on, now is hoping that Lecce are awarded a penalty their own way. And the referee indeed is going across to take a look. What an astonishing end to the season. This is proving to be. Verona pegged back in added time by Empoli. Lecce saving a penalty from Monster. And now, as we're in the 100th minute of the match, this might be a penalty. Gutkier's arm is in an unnatural position. And he seems to wedge the ball between his thigh and his forearm. He was off balance, he's already missed a penalty. I'm not sure that warrants a spot kick, but the referee has made his mind up. Massive moment this. 
Daniele Toveri awards Lecce a penalty. Gukier missed one at the other end. Now he's given Lecce a chance to seal their Serie A status with the final kick of the match in what will be the 101st minute of the game. Falcone has kept one out. Can Di Gregorio do likewise? All the pressure on the young shoulders of Lorenzo Colombo to do it all with a week to spare. Is this Lecce booking another season in the Italian top flight? One of the longest games of the season now. Eight added minutes have since stretched to 11. Colombo to start the party! Lecce are staying in Serie A. It's absolutely confirmed now. Time for the Salentini to book another season in the Italian top flight with the final kick of the game on the penultimate match of the season. Lorenzo Colombo scores the penalty. Colombo and Falcone, the architects of this win at Monza. And next season, it will be more of Lusule, Lumare e Luiento, because Lecce now once again a Serie A side for two years running. What a game of football in the 101st minute. Lorenzo Colombo, the substitute, gives Lecce the win at Monza. Ends Monza's eight-game unbeaten run. And credit to Vladimiro Falcone. You have to feel for Gukje. His final match on this ground in Monza colours. He missed a penalty at one end. He conceded a spot kick at the other. But Lecce have sent it into a straight shootout in the final weekend of the season between Verona and Spezia to avoid relegation. Colombo kept his cool and drilled it down the middle. And despite Di Gregorio getting something on it, that penalty sparked wild scenes. Congratulations to Lecce. And we now know there is just one relegation place to be decided and it will all come down to either Spezia or Verona. Saverio Sticchi Damiani will be a Serie A president for another season next year. Full-time score here at Upower Stadium. Monsignor Lecce 1 and Lecce stay in Serie A.